اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وانا معظم مكرم على سيدنا وحبيبنا وطفينا وشفيعنا وقائدنا وقرت عيوننا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. One day سيدنا انس بن مالك came to رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم and he had something in his mind that's why he asked this question he said يا رسول الله where can I find you on the day of judgment? He said you will find me at the حوض at the water pool. He said if we are not there where can I find you? He said you'll find me at the sirat at the bridge over the hellfire. He said, if you are not there, where are you going to find me? He said, find me at the balance, the mizan, the scale. He said, if you are not there, he said, you will never miss me in this place, three places. Sayyidina Anas, after the death of Rasulullah said, I'll go to Rasulullah and tell him, your little servant, Anas. He will not with his action, he will come with this relationship. The reason I mentioned this, because in Surah Al-Mu'mineen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the balance. One of the stages, an important and scary stage, is the scale. And Allah said, The one who their, their balance is heavy, that means all these good deeds is they're heavy, then they're winners. But Rasulullah wanted to make it easy for all of us, especially the one who is like not doing that all good deeds. Rasulullah said, On the day of judgment, on the balance, a person will come with a huge file or record. 70 or 90 or 100 files, and each one is like a huge file, and it's all put in the bad deeds. And the scale will go down, and that person will think that, خلاص, I'm going to the hellfire. And then Allah will tell them, no, wait. You have this small card. Let's put it on the other balance, on the other side of the scale. And in it it said, لا إله إلا الله. And then when they put it, because it's very heavy, The whole other sides will go and all the records will fly. And then we'll go to paradise. Alhamdulillah, that's good news. But in Surah An-Nur, Allah wanted us to be in a higher level. And he came, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talking, addressing the best of the Sahaba, Sayyidina Abu Bakr. And he told him, because Sayyidina Abu Bakr, he have a relative who is a miskeen, and his relative, and he's from the Muhajirin, but he did something really terrible, Sayyidina Abu Bakr. That Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, I will never forgive him, but I will not punish him. He used to give him every month some money. Sayyidina Abu Bakr, he's wealthy, he gave him money every month. He said, I will stop this money. Then Allah told us in the Quran, Surah Al-Nur, he said, وَلَا يَأْتِلِ يُؤْدُ الْفَضْلِ وَالسَّعَبْ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يُؤْتُدُ الْقُرْبَ وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَالْمُهَجْرِينَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Don't let the one, don't let the one who they have, uh, don't stop what you're giving for your relative, the miskin, and the one who do hijra. Forgive them. Don't you love that Allah forgive you? Forgive you? If you forgive them, I forgive you. So Allah is telling us through this that the way you want Allah to deal with you in the day of judgment is the way you deal with people in, in this life. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr, he told him, just immediately Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, come. His relative, his name is Mustah. He said, come. He started giving back his money. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallam.